There we go. If it turns green, we enter a trade right there. So we just entered a trade, and the mover did it on its own. It's going to go up, hopefully, and take out all the profits there. And on this one, you can always close it out anytime you want. So if it goes up and it hits the profits that you want, then you can just go here and click close all. I mean, if you're happy, like on a, if this was a, a mini, then you would be up $75 there. Now the mover bot, in my opinion, if you're going to watch it like how we do in the mornings, in my opinion, the mover bot is the best bot that I have. I think it trades the the best to um, the best for what I do. I like the mover indicator the best. I think it does a real good job. And I I use the VW I uh, see VWM. 13 is what I use on this mover bot. So it looks like we've already taken, yeah, we already took one. So let's go into here and turn the markers on so we can see what happens. We've already taken one target right there. So we hit one, now we're looking to hit the second target, and that is going to be kind of hard because we, we double top there. So I'm curious of what will happen. We hit a top right there, we hit it there, and then we pull back real hard. Now right here, if you wanted, you could raise your stop up. You could go ahead and close it out if you don't feel comfortable. You could do anything you want to do there. We're going to let it ride on up through there. But someone that's wanting to get into the bots, uh, if you're in our group and, and you haven't traded the bots, then, you know, this is an, uh, a cheaper way to do it. You know, if you lease the bot, it costs your initial money. But if you go into it and you're trading your micros, you're going to make money and you can make, uh, you know, a couple hundred dollars a day or so probably. But, you know, if you look at that, it take you a week if you trade only the four options you, or contracts. You can always trade more. But if you did that and you got to where you feel comfortable, you're working with it, uh, the mover's doing what you want, you understand how to uh, use it, then you go ahead and graduate over to a micro or a mini. Now, the mini, you don't have to do four contracts. You could do one. I mean, if you did one right there, you'd get $40. So you could just trade the one and just take your forty dollars and, and let it, you know, each trade it does. Or you could do you could raise your limit up to where you get a little more, or you could do two of them and then you would be up eighty dollars on that first target. So it really doesn't take a lot to kind of get going and make money with it. It's just a matter of knowing how to use it. And in our group, that's what we show. As far as, you know, how, you know, when to turn it on, when not to. Uh, as long as you're having a good, steady trend, then you turn it on. But when you're going flat, you don't want to turn it on. When it's flat, you just leave it turned off. But if we wanted, we could close out right now. Uh, on the mi uh, micro, you would be up 1450 not a lot, but, you know, fourteen fifty. you do it 10 times a day, it's $140. Depends on what budget you have, what you're wanting to do. So if we break through that, that's going to be good. Right now is probably a good time to raise this stop up to there manually. I'm not going to do it right now. But this would be a good time that you can raise it to there because if it doesn't break through that, it's going to come selling down. And you at least take money. There's your second target. Now we're up $12 on it. Now we're above the, the, the trail stop, brought it on up. So now we're going to make money regardless. Now we're up $24. So this is just a good way to show you what you can do. Now, if you were in minis, you'd be up $240. Plus, you would have the 
um, what a hundred and five dollars left on your your runner. So now we've got a runner. We're definitely in the money on it. And if it just keeps on going, then that runner will just keep making money. So there's twenty four dollars on that. Again, not a huge amount of money. Uh, it cost us four dollars to do this trade. So the commissions were out four dollars. And if it keeps on going, we just keep on making money. I've had numerous requests about trading micros. A lot of people get nervous trading in the minis. And for good reason. You can you can actually lose a lot of money on minis real quick. You all have seen me um, you know, lose $500 on one trade. So right now we have... Um, Probably up to right there. Uh, you can always take profit anytime you want. You don't have to wait. You don't have to let it keep on going. But as long as you, yeah, the trail stop keeps you pretty tight. And the trail stop, the way I've got it figured up, it stays right just below this mover. If we drop down below the mover, like right here or here, more than likely we're going to reverse. So as it goes up, this mover will go up and stay right across the bottom of that mover. And that's how I have the trail stop set up. If we come down below that, it's more than likely going to reverse. As long as we stay above this mover, it's going to keep on going up. And that's that's how I have the settings on it. As far as the bot is concerned, I post all these settings on the website. As I find new settings, I post uh, those settings on there as well. Once I've proven them and, and they work good, then I post the settings. And that's not to say that those settings are right for you. you know, they, they're working for me. My main thing is to get this stop above the profit. Or the entry, rather. That way you're always in profit. Now this one here looks like uh, if we do a two leg on this, It's probably going to go up to about right there. So we're going to leave this up there and just see what happens. Once we get up to this uh, part, this uh, resistance, that's really a good time to just go ahead and close out the trade probably. But I'll let it run. You probably make more money if you, once it gets up there, just take the profit. And then just wait on the next signal. These pivot points are very, very strong. So we can watch, see how the movers actually kind of curl them back a little bit. Sometimes the sign is going to go ahead and pull back when you're there. And it may pull back and then run again. They had triple top right there. Now it's pulling back. There we go. So we took um, four profits. So we're up $30.50. Again, not a whole lot, but it's profit. Now the bell just run. And we're going to see what happens. If, if we actually go in right here, there we go. We took another entry. And let's just hope that it keeps on going. If it keeps on going up, it gets our stop above into profit. I don't want to raise it yet because it could... Easily tag you out. There it goes. Right here is where we're looking to take. And more than likely, I, I mean, we're above in profit regardless. So I'll leave it there. We can close it here. I think that's probably the smart thing. But we're going to wait and see what happens here. It may just keep on just taking off. 
And if it does, we'll just keep making money. Now this could easily go up 100 points. There we are. So we took two trades. We're up $61. And the only thing we've done is nothing. We've just turned the bot on. So if in, in the minis, you'd be up $610 right now. 